Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho <laughs> <laughs> Did you miss me? What's up, DMs? It's your girl, Chucky, and I'm back with another. All right, Gems, as you already know by the title, by the thumbnail, by the last video, you already know what we're here for. It is Vlogmas Day 19, and we need to, these braids need some TLC. Now, before we jump into this video, if you're new here, welcome. I'm Chucky. And make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe so that you'll get notified the next time I post a new video. Because if you're new here, you're going to want to keep coming back. We're lit over here, okay? We have a good time. It's entertaining. So if you're new, you're going to want to stick around. If you're an old subscriber, what's up, Jim? Welcome back, babe. Anyways, let's get right into this video. Now, the last time you guys seen me, we washed my hair. And y'all already know. I was in love. I couldn't keep my fingers out my hair. Like, it's just, it was just so soft. It's just because I'm really recording right after the last one. But you, you already knew that. Anyways, like, my hair is so, 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 so soft. If you have not seen that video, I will link that in. But as you can see, my scalp just looks so clean, looks so good, even though my braids look so raggedy and they need to come out they're going to come out like i said this week we're talking about hair okay now um since i've already washed my hair i've already shown you guys how i do a little quick little scalp cleanse while i have braids in my hair now i'm going to show you guys how i moisturize my hair when i have braids in so now Normally, this will be a day when I haven't washed my hair, when I haven't done anything, and it's just dry, and it's just looking crusty. Now, because my hair is wet, I'm not going to wet it again. Now, if my hair was dry and I was coming, you know, just to do this, I would use my detangler spray. Again, this is the same spray that I used in the last video. If you want to know what's in it, you have to go to the other video and check that out. I'll leave that here. I think it's here or here. I don't know. I don't never know what side it's on. I really think it's this side, but I could be wrong. Anyways, so normally I would spray my hair, my scalp, get it all wet, you know, to absorb the products and blah, 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 going about my day. Well, since I just washed my hair, we've already done that. We don't need to do that step. So we're going to skip right into the next step. And you're going to want... You're going to want a moisturizer for this step. Now, for you, you can use any moisturizer that you want to use, that you like, that really, you know, get the job done. But because I do not want to use my expensive moisturizers on just my braids and my scalp, I'm going to go in for something a little less, um, a little less, you know, a little cheaper on the pockets. It's... It's really from Dollar Tree, but it's actually a really good water-based moisturizer for just like having like something lightweight to put on your hair. Because my hair, it takes a very long time to absorb moisturize or moisturizers or any type of liquid. I have to use very lightweight, very watered down products on my hair for it first to get my hair saturated so that it can absorb all of the other thicker products. So that is why I'm using this. Now, if I did not have braids, I would definitely use my more expensive water-based products in my hair, but that's because it's only going on my hair directly and not on the braids. So I'm not wasting no money over here. So that's why we're using this. So first things first, go ahead and if you got a lot of hair like me, you need the whole damn bottle. Okay, like that. They gonna tell you a dime size, then you need a golf ball size, <laughs> a softball, whatever, football, basketball. You need that size if you got thick hair like me. Okay, now what I'm basically just gonna do is just go ahead and throw this on my roots and you see how it's just melting in my hair those other products would just sit there and then it would leave a cast and flake up and do all that other stuff you see how it's just sliding down my hand 
water-based, okay? That's what you need for thick hair. If your hair takes forever to soak up water, water-based products is going to be your best friend, okay? You just gonna slap this on like you would a little perm, you know, on, on them little roots and stuff. Like I said, since this is just a little cheap product, I ain't worried about it getting in the braids. The braids need some love anyway. But I don't want to dry out my hair in the braids and I can't really moisturize it like I want to. So that's why we're only doing the scalp. I need some love. Get that back. Massage all that in. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. If you do massages, Five minutes a day it helps the blood circulate in your scalp which also helps um, hair growth scalp stimulation is important guys very important you see how that my hair just soaked that up I mean, you can see that I have product in my hair, but like, it doesn't just sit on my hair like that. And I put a lot in my hair. You can't even tell, can you? Don't even seem like it, do it? Nope. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. All right. Next thing I go in with is my hair products now if you've been here for a while you already know about Damn. i mean to tear up the dough Shit. now if you've been here for a while you already know about my hair products if you're new here you're gonna learn today now first product is my excuse all the nappy hairs on it Okay, because I use this faithfully. This is my hair butter. Made it myself in my kitchen. I don't know about preservatives and none of that other stuff. So don't even don't even come over here trying to ask me nothing. I've been having this for forever. This is my shea butter mixture here. And then here is my um natural herbs. Hair growth oil, you can still see that it has herbs in it at the bottom, even after I strained it. These two are mine. I've been using them for over five years. These are the only butters and oils that I use in my hair. Mm -hmm. All the other shampoos and stuff I get are like, you know, complimentary sponsored products. Everything else? It's mine. My hair masks are mine. I mix them in my kitchen. I just, you know, I like to know what's going into my hair when it comes to moisturizing and making sure that, you know, I'm promoting hair growth. And it took me a very long time to, you know, learn about all that stuff. So first things first, I'm just going to go ahead and oil my scalp. Now, as you can see, it's thick but it's not too thick so you don't really need a lot and plus this it gives me a headache because it's so strong like very strong but it works I'm just gonna grease my scalp with this like your your grandma used to when she would grease your scalp for that perm. Mm-hmm. Just like that. I know my parts is off. I don't care. I never care. It's my head.
drums is tied. Wow. Wash days are never fun. Okay. All right. Now that the scalp is all greased up, we're going to go in and seal it with our oil. With this, I just go in like this because a little of this go a long way. Especially like with, if you use my butter and this together, maybe your scalp going to be cooking if it's hot. my eye. Yes. Look at that. If I was to lay those down, shit, that ain't gonna lay down. That's how I know when it's time to take my braids out. When my baby hairs get to coming out. Right here. In my little bald spot. The girls be like, excuse me, excuse me. Anyways, mm. my head just feels so good. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Like, my head feels so good. Brains look good. But I'm not going another month with them. We're going to be taking these down pretty soon. That was quick and easy, right? Wrong. Okay, I've been in this bathroom for two hours. Anyways, that's really it to this video. That's how I moisturize my hair when I have in my box braids for a long period of time. And then y'all see when they be looking raggedy. Psh, I be having to go through all of this just to make sure that my hair is healthy. My hair stays hydrated and it's not getting dry and brittle. And especially during the winter time. Like now is the time to make sure that you are protective styling and that you are making sure that your hair is moisturized moisturized and that it is put away that air is dry and it will suck the life out of your hair trust me i know my hair thick already ain't nobody got time for that anyways i really hope you enjoyed this video if you learned something you learned something if you didn't you didn't you know i mean i'm just showing you guys what i do for myself now, what works for you, works for you. And if something works for me, it may not work for you. So you have to have your own discernment on what products you will use, how you will lay those products, how you'll lay those products in your hair. Like all that is determined on you personally in your hair journey you can't be doing what i be doing and you got 4b 4a hair and i'm 4c and my hair is thick dry the shrinkage is real the coils it doesn't take it takes forever to soak up products when your hair just suck up them products and you can go on about your day i can't do that okay we are not the same sis the strands in my head are not the same, sis. The Indian is on one side and then the nigga is on the other side. And it's just like, wish. Anyways, that's that. And that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys 
in the next one. Bye, Jeans.